Okay, so the next test, okay, follow me. As we do this, test 2.2b. This will be under you. Continue with your exercise. 2.2, question B1, subheading 4 to 6, we'll find this on textbook page 34, okay, open your textbook to page 34. Find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomials and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient. So let's start with B1, subheading 4. So as we have been doing previously, we are going to do the same way. So let P of X, I think not X this time, number 4 is U is a variable. So P of U is equal to, write the polynomial given 4U squared plus 8U. 4U squared plus 8U. Let us, manipulate, let us just manipulate this little bit. The u squared term is here. And just like x squared and x, u squared and u, then there is no c, so we just put there zero. We can do the right plus zero. So that way we can bring out our a coefficient of u squared, which is plus four, b coefficient of u, which is plus eight, and c, which is the zero here. That's the reason why we have put your zero to account for the value of c. So for, the question is saying first find the roots. So for that, let us do this. Now, since we know, since for any zero, that means for any answer of u, p of u, and this time it's u, not x, so p of u is equal to zero. We know that. So that implies P of U, this one, same, can be replaced by this. We rather take this little, make it easier. 8, sorry. 4U squared plus 8U equal to, and so P of U, this one is replaced by this. Then the highest common factor of 4 and 8 is 4, is going with both, so 4. U squared and U means U can come out. Then, here you see, 4u into u, u squared plus 4 twos are 8. So u already also, 4u into 2 is 8u is equal to 0. So we have managed to factorize. So we're going to write here either the first factor, 4u, should be equal to 0. This factor is equal to 0. That gives you u is equal to 0 and into means 0 divided by 4 will come down, which is equal to 0. So u value, first 0 value is 0, u is 0. Or second factor u plus 2 can also be 0. So that implies u, this factor equal to 0, and we got u equal to 0. And this factor u plus 2 equal to 0, then u will be equal to plus 2, shift the right side, minus 2. So we may as well write it here. Since we don't need this portion anymore after this, you can write, therefore, the required zeros, the required zeros of this polynomial are, this one here, zero, and here, minus two. So that's our first answer. Find the zero, so we have answered that then. Verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So for that we have been doing Already we have done three of them. So we know how to do so verification. So you write here verification Verification means to prove that our zeros value 0 and minus 2 are correct Okay, so here our Verification so here uh, let will start with this in terms of sum of roots, then we'll go to product of roots. So, sum of root, sum of the zeros, they're using the word zeros. It's called the actual root zeros, you take zero plus second root 
zero is minus two so zero plus minus minus two zero minus two is minus two so next and this is done so go to the in terms of coefficient in terms of actual roots we have done sum of roots in terms of coefficients for the sum of roots let's take this minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square this one is equal to we have already established in the beginning of the exercise the formula minus b by a so we can write here that will be equal to minus b so minus into b here b value is 8 so let us write that 8 divided by a so a is 4 so let's put the 4 4 2 are 8 so this is plus and minus minus and plus minus 2 equation number 2 let us put this one as equation number 1 so brought from equation 1 and 2 the values are minus 2 and equation 2 also minus 2 so they're equal so we can write it therefore sum of the zeros equal to minus 2 and minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square also minus 2 so we can write this equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square so proved we have proved that the answer zeros 0 and minus 2 are correct when we verify in terms of sum of zeros so having done that let us go to the next one now for the second formula using this product of roots product of the zeros they're using the word zero so product of the zeros equal to actual roots we are going to product means multiply zero into minus two zero into minus two which is zero because zero multiplied with anything means zero and zero has no sign equation three then and we know right side of the formula here constant term divided by coefficient of x square coefficient of x square is formula given here c by a c by a so c here is as we can see coefficients here these are called the coefficients so c is zero divided by a is your four and we know zero divided by anything is zero so equation number four also ultimately equates to zero so that means what do we write here after that we can write here therefore even in terms of product of roots we have seen uh, okay so now okay here i forgot to mention one thing just make a space here okay and right here using one and two we get letter you write okay using one and two we get sum of zeros equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square likewise you write here using equation three and four we get here three also value zero equation four also value zero means this product of zeros is zero so product of the zeros product of the zeros is equal to zero product of the zeros is equal to zero and constant term by coefficient of x square equal also equal to zero so using equation three and four we find that constant term by coefficient of x square so and right here at the bottom left right side hence verified so four let's go to the next one 
I'm just very fat, okay? Next. Here, question B1, subheading uh, 5. Let me raise to let. I can just do the normal way as we have been doing so far. Let B of X. I think not X, sorry. 5 there. T squared minus 15 means the unknown is t, so p of t is equal to 0. Let p of, also p of t is equal to the given polynomial you write, t square minus 15. Now, here we can, we have to manipulate, t square is there, but there is no t, so we can just make it yourself, 0 into t is 0. This is 0, to make t available, visible, then minus, 15 is C. So that way we are going to get here A equal to here T square coefficient is 1. A is the coefficient of T square. B is the coefficient of T which is 0. C is the coefficient of uh, the constant term there minus 15. So since we know for any 0 value P of T is always equal to 0. That implies p of t, this one here, can be replaced by, but you take the first one, t minus 15 equal to 0. We're taking this because it's more convenient. So here t squared, you just keep it, and minus 15, shift to right side, and plus 15. Then we know that when we remove the square on the t, plus minus root 15 will come. So t values are plus root 15, comma, minus root 15. These are the two values. The roots find the zero, so we have found out. So for verification, for verification, here, okay, for verification, in terms of sum of roots, sum of the zeros, sum of the zeros is equal to, sum of the zeros is equal to, first zero plus second zero first plus second so there will be root 15 plus and minus minus root 15 so there will be equal to zero equation number one root 15 minus root 15 is zero and then right side of the formula there minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square is minus b by a formula so minus and then b here zero divided by a here one and we know zero divided by anything is zero and we don't put minus because zero has no sign equation two so using equations 1 and 2 we get here sum of the zeros equal to 0 here sum of the zeros 0 in equation 1 and minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x squared also 0 in equation 2 so we can equate it to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x squared. So verified in terms of sum of roots. So let us go to product of roots. So I don't need this, so I'll just wrap up this one. And we'll just write here. The root values are root 15 and minus root 15. So next, verification number two with product of roots. So product of zero, sorry, product of zeros, product of zeros is simply the actual root zeros you take and multiply. Root 15 into minus root 15. So plus and minus, minus. Root 15 and the root 15 is root removed. Root 3 into root 3, just like root removed, so root 15 into root 15, 
Rudmo Rudmo's equation three. And on the right side of the formula, the constant term, constant term by coefficient of x is equal to c by a, as you can see here, c by a, right? So we write here, that will be equal to c is minus 15 by a is 1. So that is also minus 15 by 1 is minus 15, equation number 4. So in 3 also value is minus 15, 4 also value is minus 15, they are equal. Means product of zeros and constant term by coefficient of x are equal. So we have verified. Finally, in the last step, we can write this one. Therefore, using 3 and 4, we get, okay, we get 3 and 4, we get, using 3 and 4, we get a product of the zeros of the zeros is equal to constant term by coefficient of x so since the, but the roots the zeros are proved to be correct in terms of sum of roots also product of roots so we end by saying hence verified one more question before we end this test part 2.2b go there question b1 subheading 6 subheading 6 okay so go there so let's write here let p of x i think it's x this time yes p of x is equal to 3x square minus x minus 4 minus x minus 4 minus x minus 4 so here we can easily find out coefficient of x square is called a so here coefficient of x square is plus 3 b is the coefficient of x so no number means minus is there so minus 1 and c is the constant term here the third one minus 4 having done that to the question is saying find the Zero. So to find the zeros, let's do factorization. Since for that we know, since for any zero, p of x is always equal to zero. So then plus p of x here. This one p of x is can be replaced by three x square minus six minus four is equal to zero. So normally we are doing by factorization. So multiply first and third term plus and the minus. Minus and three fourths are twelve. Three fourths are twelve. The middle term here, no number means minus one. So four threes are then your minus and plus, then minus four plus three exactly middle term. Multiply these two exactly the product of first and third term minus twelve minus and plus minus four threes are twelve. Multiply matching this exact in absolute value as well as the sign plus minus and subtraction exactly matching middle term. So this is the correct okay splitting of the middle term so here 3x square and minus x middle term will be split into minus 4x plus 3x which is minus 1x minus 4 is under so just write as it is and common factor highest is 3 is smaller than 4 so 3 cannot go with what go with 4 so go down 2 goes here but doesn't go here so go 1 so 1 is the common factor which we did not write. So x squared and x common factor is x. So 1x is the highest common factor. x taken out, so I write here 3x. x into 3x, 3x squared. I mean, plus and the minus, minus. x has gone out, so here inside would be 4. Plus and 3 and 4 again. 3 go down. 2 doesn't. 2 go here, doesn't go here. So 1 is the common factor. x is here, not here. So highest common factor of 3x and 4 is only 1. 
1 into 3x is 3x, plus and minus is minus. 1 into 4 is 4, so equal to 0. Okay, so next here, these two terms, the common factor is clearly 3x minus 4, as we can see there. 3x minus 4, yeah. So if 3x minus 4 is taken out, inside will be x. 3x minus 4 taken out, then plus 1 inside. So here we have here either first factor 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. So 3x will be equal to minus 4 shift right side, then plus 4. Then x will be equal to 4 divided by this 3 into will come down to the denominator. So this 3 come down. 4 by 3, first 0, then the second 0, or x plus 1 is equal to 0. So that gives you x equal to plus 1 shifted right side minus 1. So our values are, we can write here, the required zeros. Therefore, the required, I think I forgot to write this step in the previous two questions. You can do it yourself. This one, the required zeros are the first one plus 4 by 3 and the second one minus 1. You can write like that yourself, okay? In the previous two, that is 3, uh, 5 and 3, 5 and 4. Okay, having done that now, I can write here. So, let's just write it here. They're required. This one, zeros. After solving by factorization up to this step, I think we forgot to write the step, so you write it yourself. The required zeros are 4 by 3 and minus 1. So, I'm going to verify. So, let's write down. You wrote up the J, you don't need to repeat, okay? I'm writing here for space. Verification. For verification, we're going to do in terms of sum of roots, then go to product of roots. So, sum, sum of zeros to be specific, because this exercise that you're using the term zeros. Zeros or roots mean the same thing anyway. Equal to first zero, four by three, sum means plus, so second, 0 minus 1, first and second. So here, 4 and plus and minus, minus 3 ones are 3, then multiplied, so you go up to here, then divided by 3 else in. So that will be 4 minus 3 is plus 1 by 3, so equation number 1. Then we can write, and right side is that one minus coefficient of x minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square formula is minus b by a as you can see so you write that and go here that will be equal to minus bracket b is again minus 1 so b minus b by a is 3 so minus and minus plus 1 by 3, equation number 2 also 1 by 3, and 1 also the value is 1 by 3. Therefore, we can say using equations 1 and 2, we get verified sum of the zeros, sum of the two zeros is equal to minus coefficient of x close bracket by coefficient of x square verified for this and let's go to the second verification after this you can write down now we're going to do for product of roots now product of the zeros Product of the zeros is equal to take the actual zeros. First zero, 4 by 3 multiplied to 
second zero minus one plus and minus so you write there minus four one four ones are four by minus four by three equation number three let us put then you write down after this you can write down and the right side of the formula constant term constant term by coefficient of x formula is c by a so you know c is here minus 4 by a is here 3 again let's put this as equation number 4 again we're getting same for minus 4 by 3 in equation 3 also minus 4 by 3 so we can finally end up our answers saying here using 3 and 4 we get product of the two zeros or product of the zeros here minus 4 by 3 is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square so I correct this one constant term by coefficient of x square here should be x square okay so you can write your hands verified so that completes the, past, uh, the parts for test 2.2b. I hope you got it. Okay.